charms that nothing else has. Music hath charms, though it's classy or jazz. A symphony grand by Schubert or Brahms. A popular band or a uke neath the palms. A melody in minor key can make the teardrops start. And then again, a glad refrain can cheer a lonely heart. Sweet harmony when there's someone in your arms. Oh, baby, it's then that music has charms. How do you do, ladies and gentlemen? Permit me to introduce myself. I'm Charles Irwin, and this book is Paul Whiteman's scrapbook. Its pages are crowded with melodies and anecdotes, which we are going to bring to life for you by the magic of the camera. Here we have Paul himself. By the way, you may be interested in knowing how he came to be crowned the king of jazz. Once upon a time, Paul, tiring of life in the great city, had a grand idea. He would go big game hunting. No sooner said than done. Suiting the action to the camera, we find him a few weeks later in darkest Africa. <laughs> how Paul Whiteman was crowned the King of Jazz. Why, here comes Paul himself. Hello, Charlie. Hello, Paul. Where's the band? Are you standing in front of them? Oh, the band? Yes. I have them right in here. What, 40 boys in that little bag? In the bag. Thank you. 
I'm really very proud of the boys. Some of them have been in the band for a great many years. Mike, how long have you been in the band? Eleven years, Mr. Whiteman. Goldie, how long have you been in the band? Six years, Pop. Six years, Pop. <laughs> Pop. Been in the band so long, he's commenced to look like me. However, as I said before, I'm really very proud of the boys collectively, and I'd like to have you meet them individually. I want you to meet our girl.
our next advertisement, The Bridal Veil. It tells the story of a little girl who finds in an old treasure chest the lace veil that had been worn by her ancestors. The ghost brides of all the ages pass before her. And in fancy, the boy who is to become her future husband joins her, and they start on their honeymoon to the land of dreams. Of course they lived happy ever after. <laughs> Thank you. 
get a little tip simply by taking a cinder from your eyes. Oh, I like to do things for you. I like to mend your things, darn your clothes, clean your ears, blow your nose. Oh, I like to do things for you. I must buy a hook or crook, make you look real nappy. If there's a chance to do things for you, I'm happy. Here's something soft, now and then, so I can pull them on again. Forever my life. page of the Paul Whiteman scrapbook, you will find the first of a series of brief anecdotes. Here's my assignment, boss. Say, where have you been all day? This story's half an hour old. What's the matter? Matter? If we women are going to run this paper, I want and as long as I'm city editor, I've got to have news hot off the griddle. Oh, Here you are, 40 stories building burnt to the ground. When did it happen? Ten minutes ago. That's better. Big bank robbery. Three policemen shot. When did it happen? Five minutes ago. That's more like it. Woman shoots husband. When did it happen? Wait a minute. Listen. <laughs> That's great. Oh, what a dance do they do. Lordy, how I'm telling you. They don't need no band. <laughs> Take time by clapping their hands. <laughs> Just happy as a cow, chewing on a cut when the dark beat to feed on the Mississippi mud. Hey, Bing, this isn't the type of number for this kind of a production. What kind of a production is this? A super, 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 super special, special, special production. production. Well, I guess you're right. We should get out of the mud and reach for the higher and the finer things of life. The silver lining and the bluebird and life and love. Ah, look at my doorstep, look at my doorstep, look at the bluebird, look at the blackbird, look at the good luck, look at the bad luck, look at the good luck and the bad luck there. Right. I never saw bluebirds mingle with blackbirds, I never saw bluebirds do all these backwards, never knew good luck ever could perch with care. Now I overheard what, 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 those birdies talking what, 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 today, and I know just why they're acting. This way. Maybe I better pick up the thread of the story. Would you leave me? Okay. First the bluebird said, we've got to have sunny 
weather. So the bluebirds and the blackbirds got together. Then the blackbirds said, Oh, we're birds of a different feather. So the bluebirds and the blackbirds got together. <laughs> Oh, some quartet on the air. It really doesn't matter. Why, first the bluebird said, we got to have sunny weather. So the bluebirds and the blackbirds got together. Then the blackbirds said, we're birds of a different feather. So the bluebirds and the blackbirds got together. And when they talked it over, they let the blackbirds bring the rain. Ah, tell it. All the bluebirds then agreed to bring that sunshine again. For we can't have rain or sunshine that lasts forever. <laughs> Whip, boo, boo, boo. You can take those bluebirds, take those blackbirds, mix them together, you get fair weather. And that's the reason the bluebirds and the blackbirds got to Somewhere along the Rio Grande Sadly I'm reminiscing madly again I'm kissing someone along the Rio Grande It happened in Monterey a long time ago I met her in Monterey in old Mexico, stars and steel guitars and luscious lips as red as wine broke somebody's heart, and I'm afraid that it was mine. It happened in Monterey without thinking twice. I left her and threw away the key to paradise. My indiscreet heart longed for the sweet heart that I left in old Monterey. Mm -hmm. 
But I... So this is the way you act when I'm not around. Well, I... Uh... No, you should try and explain. I saw you with my own eyes. Well, well, won't you let me... I'm through. You'll never see me again as long as you live, you brute. Goodbye. Well, wifey, there goes the best stenographer I ever had. The next page in the scrapbook was inserted one day while Paul was away, and the boys in the band prevailed upon the property man to do his stuff. Jack White, a fellow of infinite jest, but just a little bit nutty. Come on now, old Black Joe. Yeah, Joe, come on, cool. You'll be terrific. <laughs> Mother said to me, What does your mother say to you? When I grow up to be a big man, what do I wish to be? What do you wish to be? Seven of spades? Right. I always wanted to be a cop or a fireman or such. But since those days of wishing, I've got a new ambition. What is your new ambition? ambition? Ace a club. Right. Oh, how I'd like to own a fish store. That's all I wish for. A lovely fish store. Why, to all the patties, I'd sell the them in patties. To the Cohens and the Mishes, I would sell to them the fishes. I'd put a flounder in my window each day. I'd put it on a scale and say, I'm giving it away. Oh, how I'd like to own a fish store. I'm a fisherman, aren't we all? I had a funny dream last night. I dreamt I saw two fishes fight. The champion was a tuna fish. His opponent was a bass. Before the title fight began, they introduced a few. They introduced Kid Sharky. Battling Whitefish. And Piccolo Pig. Ace of Clubs. The house was packed with poor fish who paid 20 fish to get in. And now they're madly yelling for the main fight to begin. Everyone's excited in the gallery, some fresh trout. The champion leads his left fin. He leads it to the jaw. He lands. The bass. He flounders. Catch on. <laughs> Signal's off. The bass went down. He can't get up. The champ is in his glory. And then I woke to find my dream was only a bedtime story. <laughs> nice fresh halibut fish. Nice fresh halibut fish. Lady, come down at my feet. Take a peek. You know the fish gives you brains? What you eat them, sardines? Uh-huh, uh-huh. And then the war broke out! <laughs> oh, 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 oh. the men and boys, leaving their homes and wives and sweethearts. Men, 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 going up and down again. Going up and down again. Men, men, going up and down. Going up and down. And where were you? Where were you? 
were you? And where were you? Where were you? Never mind me. They got me, buddy. Did they really get you? Yes, they really got me. Well, they should have got you sooner. But tell me your name so I can tell your poor old mother. Why, you darn fool, my mother knows my name. I would like to own a fish store with a flying fishing play. Oh, how I'd like to own a fish store on the road to Mandalay. Four spades?
in the branches above is plaintively heard serenading his love. <laughs> I beg your pardon, sir. Is this the place where you report a stolen automobile? The universal picture, all quiet on the western front, inspired us to produce our own little war drama, all noisy, on the eastern front. In it, we hope to prove for all time that Sherman was right.
No record of American music would be complete without George Gershwin's Rhapsody in Blue, which was written for the Whiteman Orchestra and first played in Aeolian Hall in 1924. The most primitive and the most modern musical elements are combined in this Rhapsody, for jazz was born in the African jungle to the beating of the voodoo drum.
evening, Mr. Kent. Hello, Wally. What are you going to have? Oh, I don't know. Most anything. What is that? Just what you ordered, most anything. Well, here's a go, here's a go. Do you know what's the matter with this country? It's a tariff. That's who. Partly tariff and partly income tax. Now you take my wife. All right. Who are you going to take? <laughs> it's a go, it's a go, it's a go. Wait a minute. Don't kick that dog. That's not a dog. It's a cat. Well, don't, then don't kick the cat. Don't, don't you like animals? No. Do you like goldfish? Goldfish? I hate them. Not so quiet, not so quiet. My boy, don't ever let anybody hear you talk that way. A goldfish is one of the most faithful animals we have to mankind. To the goldfish. Would you mind if I told you a story about two little goldfish that I once had. No. I bought him at a spawn shop. Two little wallet for, uh, wallet for, uh, goldfish. I call them Ellen and Emma. I brought them home and I put them in a glass bowl full of water. And I used to sit and watch them grow. Grow into women, to men, uh, big fish. And then prohibition came. And they jumped out of the bowl, onto the floor. They used to follow me around wherever I went. How I used to love them. I used to come home each night, and I'd stand at the bottom of the steps, and I'd cry out, Hello, Ella. Hello, Emma. And they would answer me back. One day, I had been working very hard. I worked so hard, I broke my shovel. I came home, and I stood at the bottom of the steps, and I cried out, Hello, 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 Ella. Hello, hello, Emma. But there was no... No. <laughs> Ella, Emma, Emma. Then he 
never used to be dejected, doing what the fairy tales directed. On the wall he'd pack them all, and for a while he'd smile the blues away. Till come a day, I really feel we're going to know the man of real, my little rag, I'm off and rolling I'm always gay and never blue. I know that love will lead me to my little rag. I'm off and rolling. Until then, so happy we can be and complain it ain't right. Until then, I promise faithfully to be with might. And just as true as stars above. show, like a good sauce, requires just a little dash of spice. So we ask you to peek through this keyhole at our next page. And if you see anything spicy, remember, you should never, never peek through a keyhole. My husband. Husband? Hi, quickly. Where? Darling wife. Hello, dear. Daddy's a boogeyman, Mac Plaza. What did you say, dear? It's a boogeyman, Mac Plaza. Aren't you ashamed of yourself? A great big man like you, running around scaring little children.
let your mind keep you worried and blue. You can always let your feet keep your disposition sweet. I want to see what makes me feel the way I do. Will you kindly cast an eye on two good reasons why? Happy feet, I've got those happy feet. Give them a hold on me and they begin dancing. I've got those ten little tapping toes. And when they hear a tune, I can't control the dancing heel, save my soul, weary blues, can't get into my shoes, because my shoes refuse to ever go weary. I keep cheerful on an earful of music sweet, cause I've got those half happy Say, Charlie, what's the big idea? Don't you think I'm entitled to a little consideration? What for, Paul? After all is said and done, it's dancing that puts a number over. All you do is stand back there, wave a little stick, and form a background. <laughs> and what a background. <laughs> How do you know that I can't dance? You don't mean to tell me that you're well-versed in the intricacies of the art of turp cigarette? <laughs> no, but I can dance. Charlie, I have a secret confession. Ever since I've been a little fellow, I've been able to dance, oh, quite well. Ever since I was about, oh, about so high. Uh, yes, but how wide? Ouch. You really want to dance? All right. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Paul Whiteman will now dance. So help me, Bob. <laughs>
progress pictures have made, from Edison's vitascope to the talkies of today. On the next page, we're going to take you back to the days of the illustrated song, when legs were limbs and lightning was considered fast. <laughs> Brightly gleaming on the great white way Where there's a light for every broken heart A lonely lad was gazing on the scene so gay From all the merry throng he stood apart A kindly faced policeman whistling Broadway melody Observe the teardrops in the laddie's eye. Don't bring a frown to Broadway. In a gentle town, said he, with trembling voice, the youth began to cry. Has anybody seen a Nelly? She's somewhere on the great white way. Perhaps as you tell, there's some city swell who ain't doing right tonight by our knell. She's just a child, a little wild, but then she's just a kid. Some villain may lead her astray. A Sun, 
tells everyone a man's part like a new. Sing hallelujah for the dark night is gone. The world is singing a song of a song. of all nations are fused into one great new rhythm, jazz. Oh, dear. Do you can't John Peel when he's far, far away? Will he hold any 
alguna vez en tu pecho ay, 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 mi cariño no la rida Engáñalo como a un niño Pero nunca te lo digas Engáñalo como a 